Hey, today I want to show you my Spider Murphy build that's based off of the lore and some of the stats from Cyberpunk's tabletop red game. Did you guys know, at least I didn't know, that Spider Murphy was actually created by Mike Pondsmith's wife. Who would have guessed? Pretty cool though. By the way, if you're not aware, Mike Pondsmith is the creator of Cyberpunk. So with that information to the side, let's talk about how you can create this build. Now within the lore, she would use a smart pistol, specifically the Malorian Arms Heavy Flesh pistol. The thing about this is it's not in the game as most Militech weapons, as well as a few other pistols. It, it, hopefully we see the stuff in the future, right? What I have substituted instead is a pistol called the A22B Chow, which can be found right over here at the Sunset Motel. There will be a vendor on the left side of the motel. You will want to interact with them and look towards the right side and try to find that pistol that I just mentioned. If the vendor does not have the A22B Chow, then what I recommend is that you pause the game and then reset the vendor by going towards the skip time and skip time for about 24 hours so that the vendor is officially reset and hopefully he will have that legendary. We are now going to head towards the Bradbury and Burren. This spawning location can be found right near V's apartment, as well as to the bottom there, it's Arasaka Tower. Once you have found this location, we are going to locate Victor, the Ripper Doc, as most of you should know. There is a specific cyberware that we are going to purchase from Victor, and what it's going to be is a smart link. You can find a epic, a rare, and a legendary version, if you do not have the money or the eddies for it, then what I would recommend is that you either watch one of my previous videos where I show you how to acquire a crap ton of money, or you can just purchase something like the rare or the epic. Next up, we need to pack our bags and travel towards Wellspring spawn location, which can be found right here on the map. The reason why we are traveling over here is because we have to find a good OS system something that's going to work with our build. Now from this spawn point, you want to go towards the crosswalk and we are going to locate the Ripper Dock upstairs and then take a right. As you do take a right, you'll notice this sign is right there, Dock Rider. We are going to go inside. We are going to communicate with them and let's choose the OS system on the very top right. You can find a legendary operating system here, which is the Netwatch NetDriver Mark V. The reason why I prefer this one is because the build that we are using today is going to spread across different enemies. Now, what can be used here specifically is that right there on the second line, it says offensive quick hacks can be uploaded to three targets within a six meter radius. There are some other goodies that I've yet to mention about this specific OS system, yet definitely grab that one. Now that we have that, we need to pick up a mod for our pistol. What do we want to do? Well, we want to pick up the Crunch mod, which can be found near V's apartment at the Second Amendment store. You will want to go in, talk to Wilson, and we want to go towards the bottom and pick up the Crafting Spec Crunch. You will want to go inside your crafting section and then choose the mod Crunch. Craft about four of those and apply that to the pistol. This way you can give more damage. Next up, we are going to discuss Batis Motel, which can be found right over here at Pacifica. We are going to, of course, pick up some quick hacks that can be found from a net runner over here. There are quite a few around Night City, except this one over at Pacifica is good, as well as another one that can be found in Japantown. I recommend quick hacks like Contagion or Detonate Grenades, where if you toggle over an enemy, you can force them to drop a grenade which can then take out various enemies around them. I, I recommend that one, it's really cool. Let's now talk about attributes because if you head over towards body, we are only going to add one point here. This is exactly the same way it is in the lore. There is one thing to note, since we do not have certain stats from the tabletop game, I have increased certain stats like reflexes. The perks that you want to purchase are OK Corral, High Noon, Desperado, and Long Shot Drop Pop. These perks are going to allow you to give more damage so that you can then run and gun and then go towards your net running capabilities. As for technical ability, we are going to increase it towards 10. Let's go towards engineering and we are going to purchase lock and load. 
There is another perk there towards the bottom that you can purchase, which is Blade Runner. The next attribute that we are going to discuss is Cool. You will want to increase this to 12 so that we can purchase Assassin, so that we can deal 15% more damage to humans, as well as From the Shadows to increase some crit damage. If we head over towards Cold Blood, we are going to purchase Cold Blood, Frosty Synapses, and Quick Transfer, which is going to help us with our Quick Hacks. Next up is Intelligence Attribute. You will want to increase this to 15. We are going to purchase the following perks. Efficiency is great because this is going to increase our Cyber RAM recovery. Extended Network Interface to show nearby access points. Then we have Total Recall which is going to reduce our quick hacks. There is a passive perk such as Turret Shutdown which will allow you to shut down turrets for about 6 minutes allowing you to roam around as well as there's another one within this that's going to allow you to disable all cameras like Big Sleep. This is another great one to use when you are in campaign or if you are just, you know, doing a few gigs or possibly in CPD. We are now going to click on the Quick Hacking tab, choose Plague, which is going to allow us to spread our Quick Hacks to three additional targets. Not to mention, we do have that OS system that I just showed you guys a few minutes ago. This is going to allow you to pretty much spread that distance a little bit further. I do have to admit that I typically do not use the Breach Protocol tab at all, yet now that I have, it has been quite enjoyable. The ability to have different options there on the right side, such as the camera shutdown, which will deactivate all cameras within the area. Another favorite of mine is the Optic Jammer because when you are detected, this will automatically blind the enemy, allowing you to then shoot the heck out of them, as well as possibly making an escape. So anywho, what I like to do after I breach is toggle over an enemy and then using Contagion. What's great about this is that it spreads to different enemies because of the Plague perk. As you can tell right here, it's going to spread all over the place. What you should do is probably give it some time so that you can then toggle over a different enemy and use a different quick hack. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. I would like to take this time to give a huge shout out to everyone that is currently a member and is subscribed. I appreciate the love and support, and I will see you all on the next video.